Welcome back to the top news channel RF update. If you find my video useful, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Shameless duty. Sturgeon's conspiracy is exposed. The SNP is in the midst of a grassroots revolution after Sturgeon was accused of a shameless drive to monopolize power. It has been claimed that SNP leader Nicola Sturgeon is on a shameless mission to monopolize power. It has been claimed that even the Scottish Nationalist Group's own members are calling for a fundamental overhaul of its management style due to worries over transparency, one source said. Grassroots members have proposed a proposal to overhaul the organization's governance ahead of its upcoming conference because they are fed up with what they view as a lack of accountability. In addition to the dispute over £600,000 in contributions to finance for another independence referendum campaign, this might embarrass the party's senior leadership. But according to many authors, Sturgeon is absolutely mad right now. She has used this health emergency shamelessly for her own poisonous political agenda. Meanwhile, a source said, sick of the perceived lack of accountability. That is an understatement, Sturgeon, surrounded by her hand-picked civil servants, is protected in everything she does and she protects them. Both mother and unelected workers under the SNP in Holyrood can lie but still keep their jobs. Perhaps the Police Scotland's investigation into the missing £600,000 and Peter Murrell CEO of the SNP should be to see where even more money, taxpayers' money is being moved about by these out-of-control people. On the other hand, a government source said, the National Council should be reintroduced to define party policy and bridge the gap between the SNP leadership and its constituents, according to a growing number of SNP members. A new National Assembly has been established in its stead, with party members from the Scottish Parliament areas representing them. Along with that, many readers worry, a worry and cause for concern. It is a textbook process of securing support by painting external forces as a threat. As some other readers asserted, Sturgeon doesn't want scrutiny because her and we Pete will have to come clean about all their jiggery-pokery, she needs to be in charge so no one finds out about all her dishonesty and lies. According to some recent comments from Twitter users said, along the most gullible nationalists are beginning to realize they are being strung along by Mr. and Mrs. Murrell, they have no interest in independence but use the SNP as a means of retaining power, Sturgeon is helped by a compliant civil service and insurance. The recent Salmond inquiry which cost the taxpayer at least a million pounds was an attempt to stop the former first minister making a political comeback. He was supposed to be a threat to her leadership of the SNP, Holyrood is a complete waste of time it does not hold the executive to account. Just another layer of unnecessary government. Indeed, as some recent reports say, the SNP Eastwood branch said that dismantling the council limited options for policymaking and scrutiny in a resolution demanding for its reintroduction. In order to provide party members as many chances to create policies and debate officials as possible, it claims that improvements are required in the way the party is operated. According to the document, conference calls on NEC to put forth constitutional revisions to reinstate National Council as a venue for policyholders and oversight.